Hey folks, it's Peoria Dude. Time for another edition of a whole bunch of really good homesteading videos. Let's just jump right in, shall we? The Elliott Homestead is announcing the release of their new book, Welcome to the Farm, How to Wisdom from the Elliott Homestead. It's a book about starting out in homesteading and covers a variety of topics. If you want to learn more about this, head on over to the Elliott Homestead. Welcome to the farm. At Wayne's Country Living, they're celebrating passing 2,000 subscribers. They're giving away a hat, t-shirt, gift card, music. Sounds like a good deal to me. Over at Wayne's Country Living, 2,000 subscriber giveaway. The gardening theme this week seems to be sweet potatoes. So let's start out over at Thunder Ridge Homestead, where their video, Starting Sweet Potatoes on the Windowsill, is a good introduction into how you can get your sweet potatoes started. It's a good time. Off Grid with Doug and Stacy are getting their start also on sweet potatoes with their video Sweet Potato Slips The Super Easy Way. Head on over to Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Danny at Deep South Homestead shows us a different way of getting your sweet potatoes started. His video How to Grow Healthy Sweet Potato Slips shows us how to just plant them directly into the soil. So check out Deep South Homestead. David the Good likes to collect manure when he's out for a jog. That's David the Good for you. But he's got some interesting tips on using manure in your garden. It might not be the best thing for us here in the U.S. Check out David the Good's video, The Manure Run and learn more about manure. Rose at Wholesome Roots is whipping up a batch of special pancakes. Her video, Two Ingredient Pancake, sure does look delicious. I'm going to have to try this. Over at Wholesome Roots. If you're looking to add flowers to your homestead but don't know where to start, Fresh Cut Kentucky has the video for you. Easy to grow direct sow summer annual flowers where she goes through a list of flowers and provides tips and tricks to get you started. Check out Fresh Cut Kentucky. Where in the world is Go for Green Living Seed Carousel Package? Well, it's down with Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead where even they found a few things they wanted to give a try this year. Check out the Seed Carousel Package, Deep South Homestead. Over at Flutie Lick Homestead, we get an update on the progress of his $2,000 log home. This is a neat video. Go check it out. He purchased an old log home, tore it down, put it back up, and now he's remodeling it and making it good as new over at Flutie Lick Homestead. Be prepared to salivate because Dan at the grass-fed homestead is making braised lamb riblets with coconut curry. The lambs he raised right there on his own homestead. The recipe came from another homesteading YouTuber, Part-Time Permies. It's little buddy approved so it must be good at the grass-fed homestead. This next video might not be so appealing, unless you're a cat. Alyssa over at Pure Living for Life shows us how they make homemade cat food. Hey, what a great idea. Your pets need to eat healthy too. Why not make their food for them? Over at Pure Living for Life. This next video might not be US duh approved, but I liked it anyway. Jamie at Gildbrook Farm is canning butter. You heard that right. She's canning butter and it is sweet. Go have a look at Gildbrook Farm. Over at Alaska Urban Hippie, Ashley is giving us tips on removing burn food from the bottom of a pressure canner. I can totally see myself needing to use this video in the future or when and if when I start canning. So check out Alaska Urban Hippie. 
Patera at Appalachia's Homestead dives into the topic of cannibalism within the chicken world. It's not a great topic, but as usual, she has some great tips, tricks, and advice for us homesteaders with chickens if we ever encounter such a situation. Go on over to Appalachia's Homestead. Back at Wholesome Roots, they're talking about pink milk. And it's not strawberry quick. If a goat is giving you pink milk, should you be alarmed? Yes, and Rose tells you exactly what you need to do from there. So go check out Pink Milk, Should I Be Alarmed? from Wholesome Roots. It's one degree outside, the ground is covered in snow, and you're a chicken. Where would you want to be? How about on top of a steaming pile of compost? Well, that's where the chickens from Edible Acres are in this video, One Degree, Chickens Thriving on Compost and Sprouts. Up at the Duck Head Homestead, Danielle introduces us to their new guardian dog, Sadie. Watch out, predators. She looks ferocious. Ken at Rocky Brook Farm introduces us to the animals they have on their homestead. They're a new homesteading YouTuber, so uh, go give them a chance over at Rocky Brook Farm, Our Animals. St. Isidore's Farm is celebrating 1,000 subscribers. They're also building do-it-yourself honeybee swarm traps. Lots of great information here if you're into bees. They've also got a pretty neat Lego boat at the end of this video, St. Isidore's Farm. After Doug put him through his paces helping build a greenhouse over at Off Grid at Doug and Stacy, Sam from Teal House Farm reached for the wrong deodorant, but Laura, his wife, set him straight. Check out this video, Simple Three-Step Homemade Deodorant at Teal House Farm. Down at the Texas Boys, they're enjoying go-karts, an indoor playland, and ice cream Oreo cake. Happy birthday, Goob! Down at the Texas Boys. Also celebrating a birthday is Beryl from Wild Roots. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a good birthday, especially when there's cake. Wild Roots celebrating another year. And that's it for this edition of my homesteading YouTube video recap thingy. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Obviously this is a work in progress and I hope I made a little progress with this video. Uh, there's going to be a learning curve with the video editing and we'll just see <laughs> if I can figure it out. Uh, please leave any comments you have for uh, suggestions and also suggestions on homesteading channels and videos. Uh, I, I'm not following everybody. I, I'd probably not even following half of everybody. So I'm always looking for new content and new YouTubers out there. So uh, in the comment section below, uh, help me out if, if you can. And if you've got videos that you want to suggest, feel free uh, down in the comments. Um, there are just so many videos that I enjoy watching that I just may do two of these every week. Um, around 20 videos seems to uh, be a good good amount for this type of thing uh, so two a week what do you think like Mondays and Fridays Mondays and Thursdays a ton of new videos came out today that are not included in this uh, so I'm thinking Mondays are a good recap from like Thursday to just anyway you get the idea leave me a comment I love your suggestions um, I also want to thank all of you YouTube homesteading video creators out there. Uh, you are doing awesome. Keep up the great work and um, I'm going to have to edit that part out. Or maybe not. I hate doing double takes. Video editing. Uh, um, let's see. And alright. Keep on homesteading and remember, always use a wind filter. We'll call it a wrap. Ah, no, it's not a wrap yet. I forgot the most important thing. Make sure you look at the playlist. Link should be here. 
and check out any and all of the videos that I've mentioned here today. Please go support these great homestead YouTube video providers. Check out my playlist. Thanks.